also have the ability to conduct surveys. So from the home page, you'll notice there's no survey button here, but I'm going to select and enable a survey to the device. And in a second, a little box will pop up here that will allow us to, um, the patient, to see the box there. It popped up and it says survey. When the patient hits that, they see the series of questions that you administered um, on your front end. Patient satisfaction, rate your overall satisfaction during your stay. Now we can have a sliding one through five scale. We can also ask questions in a uh, yes or no type response. Staff was friendly and helpful. Yes. We also can do smiley faces, old school, you know, traditional um, method of, of communication. When it's, did you watch educational videos? Yes. When it's done, a submit button pops up and it says thank you for filling out your survey. Your feedback is highly appreciated. When that survey is completed, we can do one of two things with it. We can email it directly to um, an email address at the facility, a recipient, and he or she can monitor those. If Let's say you're asking surveys about you know, very specific topics and they wanna review them, great. If not, we also can build satisfaction into an Excel document that will allow you to track and trend and put trend lines in so you can look at mark improvements over time. Say you initiated a change on this date and you want to test for the next 90 days if it made an improvement in overall patient satisfaction and you can do so very easily. Surveys and messages are a very simple tool and we highly suggest that you put in a, a profile or user ID that the care team can get access to, those and only those, so they can control without going into the master dashboard making changes or um, channel lineups or other things.